Hey, Mike O here. Welcome to another episode of Fixing Things Around My House. So today I'll be showing you how to fix a hole in a hollow floor interior door that my kids lovingly created by slamming the door open against the fridge. Interior doors don't come cheap. They can range from $50 to $200 depending on design. But I'll be showing you how to fix it for around $10, providing you have some of the interior trim paint your house came with. Otherwise, you can add that to the cost. You will need only five items for this repair. A small tub of plastic wood, a putty knife, a cheap one is fine, or you can cut plastic from a club size ricotta or yogurt container and use that as a scraper. It just needs to be strong and flexible. You will need general medium grit sandpaper, a paintbrush, and the trim paint that matches your door. The first thing you will need to do is inspect the damage. Remove any loose pieces of door and then sand the surface roughly where you will be performing the repair. Next, you apply the plastic wood by forcing the putty into the hole as much as you can. Go over it a few times until you have a smooth surface around the hole and a small mound on top of the damaged area. When you are finished, let it dry for a while. Overnight is good. It will dry and cause a bump in the middle. That's what you want, so hopefully it is a one application job. When it has completely dried, take the sandpaper. I wrap mine around a piece of scrap wood and I use the household stapler to hold it in place. And slowly work the area and keep feeling the surface until it is indistinguishable from the surrounding area.
Once you are satisfied with your work, take a very lightly damp towel and use it to remove any dust from the sanded area. Final step is to just paint it. That's it, simple and cheap. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe to my channel as I'll be adding more videos in the near future.